Knowing who you are is half the battle. People will try to redefine you. They will look at you and see your strengths. And I don't mean physical strength. I mean your mental and emotional strength. And they will be intimidated by it. But when you know who you are, you don't have to allow someone else who tries to redefine you when people will insert themselves in your life and impose their personality, their mindset on you. So much so that they will try to make the way you think and your beliefs seem obsolete. But if you know who you are, you will always stand in influence. You will always stand and be proud of who you are. Sometimes it doesn't look like that. Sometimes you scrapple with yourself. Sometimes you feel the pain of someone else's imposition, someone else's manipulation, someone else's tactics on how they try to bring you down. But when you know that you know that you know, you're able to stand back and even with the pain and sometimes even questioning yourself, are they right this time? Is that true this time? You find yourself thinking that. However, knowing is half the battle because when you know even when those thoughts enter your head you filter them very quickly when you do self reflection you can always point out to yourself your own shortcomings so when someone comes up against you and tries to point out the things that you've already identified you can say yep that's me But when you are saying, yup, that's me, you are treating yourself with kindness. You're treating yourself with love. You're holding yourself accountable of what you should, but you're treating yourself with kindness in that process. Someone else, when they come to point out those things, they're likely not coming with kindness. They're coming with trying to Pull you down, diminish you, snuff out your light. They're not looking to encourage or uplift. So knowing is half the battle. Because when you know and someone comes, you are ready to defend your honor, not your defect or your shortcoming, your honor. And there's a difference. Some They're not coming for correction. They come to take you out of a space where you are confident, your self-esteem is intact. They come to try to destroy the essence of who you are. Your honor. You must keep your own honor. 